Hey all you model horse people, welcome back to my channel. Not as the weirdest opening I've ever done, I have no idea. For today's video, I'm going to be doing another new briar video idea thing that I have I don't really know, and it is called my most fill in the blanks kind of thing. So basically I have some statements that start with my most and then I'm just gonna fill in the, I guess, question or whatever you want to call it with the model that goes with it if that makes sense probably not by the way if you hear any weird like noises in the background that's probably my pet mouse or my pet dog because my pets tend to love to make lots of noise during my videos it's like they're trying to tell me something like hunter your videos fucking suck ass like get off youtube and stop trying already nope <laughs> anyways i hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, i'm gonna I'm gonna start that now before I embarrass myself any further. So first I have is my most expensive model, which would be my Buckskin Quell Surprise Briarfest Special Run model, which I'm sh pretty sure everyone already knows that by now, so it's no big surprise. It's like any time most expensive and Briar model are in the same sentence, the Quell Surprise model is always the answer, so. I, I really don't need to answer that question. Everyone knows that by now. <laughs> Number two is my most favorite model. Now, out of my models, I have quite a lot of favorites and I have a lot of favorites of models I don't own but out of the ones I do have I'm gonna narrow it down to two models and say it's gonna be between probably Esprit and partly cloudy because I love dapple grays next I have is my most limited model now that would definitely have to be my copper fox model Superman because there's only 250 of him made but out of briar models it would probably have to be the Akil Teke model on the lonesome glory mold so, yeah. <laughs> Number four would be my most tipsy model, and that would have to be between Mistral here because his stand is uneven, so he wobbles a lot on my shelf. Don't even get me started on carpet. Or my Weather Girl's Partly Cloudy and Thunder. I know that mold has a street cred for being really wobbly and tipsy, but surprisingly, my models aren't. They actually stand really well on a shelf, like a flat surface. They don't have to lean against anything, so thank God. And on carpet, Sometimes it'll take a few tries to like get them to stand straight, but majority of the time I'll just place them down and they'll stand right away. I haven't had them fall on me yet. So far those models have been pretty good and I hope it stays that way. But those three would have to be the most tipsy models out of my collection so far, which isn't a bad number, so... I'm gonna go with it. Next I have is my most regretted purchase, and that would have to be Shameless here. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that in a video before. When I first started getting in, into Briar, I saw pictures of him and I thought he was a pretty cool model, and I like Arabian, so it's like, yay Arabian, I'll get him. And then when I got him, I realized how plain and boring and basic he is and undetailed. So I, I'm not really that big a fan of him anymore. So I kind of just keep him on my shelf out of my eyesight and pretend he doesn't really exist. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's a cute model, but I feel like they could have done so much more to make him look a lot better, but oh well. Number six are my most smallest model or models. And for my Schleich, it would have to be these two little Felabella horses, ponies here. But out of Briar, it would have to be stable mates. But out of traditionals, it would be my model Elska, because she, you know, she's so small. Well, she's not that small, but you know what I mean, she's, she's a little. <laughs> Next is my most prized model. Now, seeing as I don't show, or at least I haven't done any yet, I can't pick a model out of my show string that's like my best shower and anything like that so I'm gonna go for price wise and for me that would be the Akil Teke model because I've seen a lot of people sell this model for a hundred and over new in box and I got mine for $35 so I think I got a pretty good steal on this horse so he's definitely one of my most prized models for price wise anyways I take a lot of pride in models that I get a really good deal on and I'm sure a lot of people probably do and lastly I have is my most annoying model and for me that would have to be my stable mates because all they ever like to do is fall over especially models like this where they're just balancing on like two legs they basically prove the domino effect by 110 percent and how annoying it is because as soon as one falls over they all just fly everywhere and i swear it happens like at least once a day it's like can you just stand for once 
I will say though, stable mates are like little boss ponies because I my bookshelf here is like six feet tall that I keep my models on and I used to keep them on the very, very top and I've had them fall six feet to the ground and none of them have actually broken when they fell, though so they're pretty badass little models. But yeah, that is my video guys, I hope you all enjoyed. As usual, if you want to do your own take on this video, like I always say, feel free, go right ahead and let me know down in the comments below if you do so I can go check it out. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up so I know. Subscribe to my channel for more Model Horse content as I post as often as I can. And don't forget to hit the little bell notification thingy and get notified whenever I post new videos. And I'll see all you guys in the next one. Peace.